everybody, welcome back to IndieCade. Independent Arcade is what it turns out I, that that is a portmanteau really? for. Is there just sort of like they squish them together? <laughs> yeah, it's what they call a portmanteau. Portmanteau. Okay, a sure. portmanteau. It's not a. Portmanteau? It's not a squish together it's word of anything. Oh, no. Okay. So in three years, it's just gonna be in day. In day. In day. <laughs> it's, it's in day. Or just in cade. Or in. Hello, stuff. I'm your host Hi. Erica Ishii. I'd like to remind everybody that you can give us feedback on all the games that you're seeing by going to skybound uh, twitch.skybound.com twitch.skybound.com and you can also enter to win any of these awesome prizes. <laughs> Hooray! I'm joined here by the developer for Gathering Sky, that lovely zen little game that you just saw. Please introduce yourself. Hey guys, I'm John Austin. I'm one of the developers on Gathering Sky. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, and who is this fellow who is helping us play? Hi, I'm Misha Pollock. I don't know what I am. I'm, I'm lost. <laughs> I, I, awesome. uh, I do a YouTube show called Go Tech Yourself. Go check it out. Nice. Who are you? Oh, who am I? Wait. <laughs> wow, this is a very deep very discussion. It's a very essential question, so I think know. about it slowly. Uh, yes. I am Rob Manuel. I'm part of Geek and Sundry as well. I'm the editor-in-chief. Yes, so I'm on Geek and Sundry, and you can find me there on Wednesdays and Fridays. We do a lot of shows with everything from tabletop games, to like indie games, comic to books, games, comic uh, books, making crafts, role videos, playing. Role playing. <laughs> it's super fun. Exactly. So let's get into this. Why don't Why don't you start us off? I kind of just want to listen to the trailer oh, again. Gotta, like gotta, I was <laughs> just like floating away. Okay. Okay. Can you okay. tell us about the soundtrack to this game? Yeah. So we were lucky enough to work with uh, a guy named Dren McDonald, uh, and he composed a completely uni unique 45-minute score for the game. Um, and on top of that, we were actually able to get it recorded live with the San Francisco Conservatory. Mm -hmm. So we have nice. seven different musicians, some cellos, some violins. We actually have an opera singer uh, later oh, in the wow. game. Um, she was phenomenal. Um, but uh, yeah, so the, the process of recording the music was 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 great. Oh, there's um, another bird. Oh, nice. <laughs> get that bird. So, get so that okay, bird. so what is going on? I see that we're we're controlling like one bird. But now we have two birds. We're like, how big is our flock going to be? And like, what is the end goal? What are we trying to do? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's huh? a good question. That's huh? the question that kind of everyone has when they play this game. Uh, so you start with a few birds, um, and you can grow up to as big as maybe 70 um, if you're that completionist sort of person. That's Alfred Hitchcock yeah. level. <laughs> that's a lot of birds. Yeah, well, the that's maximum birds is like in the game is like 120, mm -hmm. but I've never seen anyone get past 70, honestly. You're going to um, have to start getting to 120. <laughs> yeah, I, know. Know. I shouldn't have said that. Now, maybe. Now, now, now. Been challenged. <laughs> 120. We got two. Oh, yeah. I'm enjoying yeah. it too much. Way. Yeah. Now, what kind of birds are these? That's, that's a good question too. So we were really inspired by starlings specifically. So if you've seen these National Geographic videos of these big flocks of starlings that are almost amorphous blobs in the sky, that's kind of what we were inspired by. Um, and then we sort of took that image and created our own bird that's a mesh of a swallow and maybe a crow, just a few different kind of traits of birds that we liked. Hybrid birds. Yes, exactly. It's uh, not necessarily. Natural, You're but. playing God. Oh, yes. oh you exactly. get some more. Go get some more. So, so we have a oh, lot hey, of the buddy. stuff we're seeing here. So it looks like there's air streams. It looks like there's these green sort of like islands in the sky. Like, what are we, where are we going? How are you directing us around this world? Yeah, so it's this sort of fantasy world. And yeah, there's these rocks in the sky. And, and we just ask you to like uh, take that as a given. <laughs> but uh, so the, the way you're guided around are these wind streams. So it's 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 a carefully handcrafted game. We've placed everything here by hand. Um, and all of these wind streams sort of just nudge you in the right direction. You're free to fly wherever you want, um, but it's more fun to go in the wind streams. You're faster, and it's, it's just more enjoyable. So it sort of naturally guides you in the right direction. Can you tell me a little bit about the art? Like I, these landscapes in the background that I see? Yeah. So our fantastic artist, Crystal Nagai, she is amazing. Um, and so from the beginning, actually, we, we laid out this color narrative for the game. So this big, long strip of colors. Um, so we start with these greens and these blues. Um, and we, then we go into some purples. And, and it's kind of like this rainbow. Um, and then we took that, and we made that into backgrounds and different uh, sort of landscapes. Um, yeah, and basically it's all done this kind of painterly style. Uh, the entire the entire game background for the game is this gigantic Photoshop image that's like thirty thousand pixels. Like one yeah, long one. exactly. Wow. We well, need this amazing. huge computer to actually be able to to work on it. <laughs> the sound but, uh, is phenomenal. Just soothing. yeah, yeah. The, the music is a huge part. It's actually wherever you are in the game, the music is like very specifically crafted to that part of the level. Um, we did the music after we designed the levels, so we actually worked very closely with Dren to like. <laughs> mesh it very closely with what you're doing. 
So, like, this game is, has a feeling of zen to it, I would say, that you're, you're constantly, you're just sort of, like, moving with a flow. There's, like, a constant uh, mo motion to this game. Uh, how, how did you actually craft that? How were you able to sort of, like, keep people moving instead of just, like, keeping them in, like, one spot or just having them fly around in circles, yeah. like, the rest of the day? I, one of the really interesting things, I think, about this mechanic and the movement style is that you can't ever stop. So no matter what you do, if you just, like, let go, they're going to go somewhere. Um, oh, no! <laughs> and, and because of that, we sort of had to, like, try to decide, okay, what happens when you crash? You know, should they... they <laughs> and like, so right climb? here, like, we had a crash. Yeah. yeah. So, like, this is, this is very yeah. <laughs> traumatic that's going on. We're trying to, like, pick the last bird. <laughs> yeah, like, we're having make yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we're trying no to get no bird our, left behind. <laughs> uh, being, a, being a part of flock means no oh, bird left exactly. behind, of course. Uh, but like, how how you know how do people like respond to this? Like, how do you keep them involved in the game? when it still is this very sort of zen yeah. sort of like type that you're just sort of like moving to it. One of the core tenets was that we really wanted to make a game that people chose to involve themselves with. So if you're not enjoying it, we don't want you to necessarily play this game. We just, <gasps> we want you to really be playing because you're enjoying it. Right. Um, so we've been finding that when you, when you get into it and when you get into the music and the visuals, it just like drags you in. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's, it's kind of like a, the cohesive whole is what keeps you there. Um, not any sort of external goal or points or anything. So I know we're seeing only a very small portion of the game yeah. right now. Can we talk about some of the stuff that we're not going to be able yeah. to get to, even though you're doing a fantastic job of like <laughs> pulling this flock together. This you is, lost one. No, I saw what? you. No, I did I not. I saw you lose one. I'm going to say I have not seen a bird I, lost I yet. No this. bird left behind. But <laughs> Can you talk about some of the other things that are that you've also put in this? Yeah, game? yeah, sure. So uh, the game goes actually through a, a few emo different emotions. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm, I'm on like using over here. I'm on W and uh, like, I'm like I just want to do it. But. Yeah. Uh, so the, each each level has sort of an emotion what to it. If I drag them all oh God. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. This, Sorry. this first one's all about curiosity. So it's about playing around with the mechanics. Okay. It's, it's, it's very open. It's exploratory. It's getting you in the spirit of it. Uh, some of the later ones are about exhilaration. There's getting lost in the fog. This kind of uh, um, claustrophobic feel, there's fear, catharsis. Um, so we go through different this emotions. This feels like we've transitioned. We've, we've got yes. a yellow palette behind exactly. us. Exactly, yeah. yes. Oh, very nice. So yeah. you're about to fly into a bank of clouds, and then we'll move to the next the region. Next yeah. So yeah. the next sort of theme, yeah. and what, what is the next theme that we're going to go uh, into? So now we're into exhilaration. So we have faster winds. There's a little bit of this other creature that shows up. Oh, um, oh, yeah. oh. oh it, gets, it gets scary. <laughs> it gets there's, there's a little bit. Okay. Yeah, people definitely jump in their seats at oh, one I point. Know, no, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> is it is it dragons? It is no dra no, it's not. Is dragon. it a big dragon? Uh, well, maybe for the right amount of money, but not yeah. really. Uh, no. is, it <laughs> is that that's the DLC? <laughs> DLC dragons, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's flying monkeys. Uh, it <laughs> love it. Oh, 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 oh no! Is that really possible? Does <laughs> this happen? No, no. Do not, do not, not activate. activate. <laughs> <laughs> is it still going? Down there. Uh, I mean, that's okay, really okay, I hit the play button up there. Good. We're doing good. Nobody yeah, saw, no, that's nobody fine. We have not lost a bird yet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there, I also noticed there were like uh, bits. Where, there was a bit where you're following sort of a line, and some of the birds actually had this like outline to them. Yeah. What is that? Whoa, yeah. Whoa. So there's. <laughs> oh no! Exhilaration. Too much. Too much. Yeah. Too and, much. And the Pull music back. Here is picking up and just like really getting into it. Um, this is great. Yeah. Uh, so there's there's these little sprite-like creatures that fly around. Um, it's probably the closest thing we have to goals or objectives. Okay. Um, Thank you. I'm sorry. That's all the time we have. <laughs> for yeah. now, but thank you so much for joining us. This is awesome. Cool. Everybody, give us your feedback. Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in to our content from IndieCade, where we shot the Skybound Insider with a bunch of awesome guests. Let us know in the comments below what you thought of today's game, and subscribe so you can see even more. Thanks. Bye.